Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of America's Next Top Model Recap. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So let's just get right into it because it's a lot to cover. A lot. So last week Janet was sent home. Okay. And this week Ebony was the first to speak. So, hmm. She's she going, going home? home. She's going home. We'll find out. She's saying like, oh, I'm homesick. I don't know if this is right for me. That's not a good sign. No. When, when you were, would rather go home than, like, go to New York or L.A. That's bad news. <laughs> yeah. So Tyson so, yeah. Beckford shows up. Everyone's like, Tyson! My chocolate little marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> He's delicious. So, everybody freaks out. And they should, because it's Tyson. He is, like, the top male supermodel of Ever. the world. Ever. <laughs> yeah. So, he was in Zoolander. I know. He teaches the girls to be spokesmodels. Well, he, he tries like, to anyway. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> grab something from the house and come back. So there was like mango. Um, this well, like, let me just I say, know what I had. knew Chantal was going to do something dirty. <laughs> yeah. Sucking on a popsicle. Dirty popsicle. So they had to like make an ad for it kind of and make it sexy. Yeah. So Tyson bit Ambriel's mango. In more yeah. ways than one. Yeah. Okay, so they go to the challenge, and Tyson says, This is my charity. My campaign, I Am African. And it's for the Keep a Child Alive charity, which works with AIDS in Africa. Mm -hmm. We're down with it. Let me tell you, we bought two of those red uh, Motorola <laughs> phones. So yeah, we give money for AIDS. So they have to make a 30-second PSA, and they have 30 minutes to do it. Yes. And they're working in teams of three. <laughs> three teams I of three. I wish it was two. So, Bianca, Lisa, and Chantal went first, and they had a whole hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil thing going on. But they didn't know the name of the charity. Uh, they weren't speaking anything. <laughs> they weren't speaking the name of the charity, that's for sure. Yeah, like, Lisa was okay, Chantal started to stumble a little bit, and Bianca was just like, Arr. Forget it. And she got the name of the charity wrong. Yeah. You don't do that. Next up was uh, Heather, Ambriel, and Jenna. They were pretty good, except uh, they had like a cue card theme where they were just like staring at the camera and like spouting off all these facts. I thought it was cool because it was like... They kept dropping the cue cards so yeah, loud though and then was... Heather was like... <laughs> I thought it was good because it like sent a message. I guess. Maybe. Now that I think of it that way. Maybe. But they needed a little bit more life. Uh, well, you're not going to be like, there's AIDS in Africa. Well, no, but I mean, like, do what you can do. Vote or die. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly, P. Diddy. So next was Ebony, Sarah, and Celicia. Right, so they had a whole daughter, mother, sister campaign. They went more for the woman, women approach. Empowerment, yeah. So, but the they screwed it up because this charity doesn't do prevention. It only does treatment. So, yeah, you should yeah. kind of, like, get your facts straight. So the best of the worst was Heather, Amriel, and Jenna. I think and this was good, though. Yeah. Well, they all won, I think, a $500 basket from Carol's daughter, mm -hmm. which I never heard of. I'm going to have to go look it up now and see what it's all about. But, um, <laughs> one girl out of the hat. would win a photo shoot, which was directed or whatever. By Mary J. Blige. What? I know. Yeah. I would have been like, I am there, honey. So Heather won it. So she learned a lot. I'm glad Heather went because, you know. She learned how to turn left. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Zoolander. Yes. So, yeah, they had a slumber party in the closet. I didn't get that. I think the whole house is so cold that uh, the only place that's comfortable is the closet. I guess. Nice move, Tyra. That extra air conditioning really makes that house green. Well, they could put on some clothing. That too. But they could also turn down the air. Yes. <laughs> and that that closet was huge. I know. I couldn't get over it. Can I move in? <laughs> so each model represents a different recyclable material in the elimination shoot. And before we tell you what they were, let's just say Heather rocked it. <laughs> like I said, she turned. She, she learned, learned how, how to, to turn, turn left. left. 
She went. Yes. Ebony, lackluster. I have a feeling she's doing it on purpose because she really wants to go home. I don't know. Bianca's been practicing doing the Tyra smile with my eyes. <laughs> Which Tyra always, like, messes up anyway. She's like, I okay, know. smile with your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and Ambriel, boring. Yep. She only has one look, and it's the... Yeah. Okay, so it's time for the judges panel. Mm -hmm. And two of the four judges were wearing afros. Guess who it was? <laughs> the boys. <laughs> Nigel and Miss J. Right, who is really a boy. <laughs> okay, so Nigel, Miss J, Twiggy, and Tyson joined for the ride. Celicia was up first, and she was a tire and car parts. Yeah. She totally knocked the thing over when they were doing the photo <laughs> Way shoot. Way to mess up the set. I but know. anyway, it, but was it was really a great good. photo. It was really good. Yeah. Then Jenna was up next, portraying cardboard. Excellent fashion shot. Can mm -hmm. this girl take a bad picture? No. I don't think so. Ambriel was up next. She was deader than the newspaper. She was modeling. What's <laughs> red? Wait. Black and white and red all over. Ambriel. <laughs> okay. That was really... Yeah, but that was pretty good. Lisa was plastic. <laughs> Not risky enough. Like Modeling it was 101. One of the safe shots. But that was kind of contradictory to what they said. Because yeah. they were like, oh, she took a risk. And then they're like, oh, yeah, but it's Modeling 101. Then she took a safe risk. <laughs> that yeah. wouldn't be a risk. <laughs> no. So then Bianca was next. And she was oil. And they greased her up. And. <laughs> Yeah, they said she was stiff. I think just the picture that Tyra picked was stiff because uh -huh. I was seeing some other hotter pictures that why didn't they Tyra pick those? They picked the shot those? with her arm like. Yeah. <laughs> Tyra, what's going on? I think this is a little fixed. Sarah had garbage bags, and uh, it was a good photo. It was. She was taking some risks, but they didn't choose the one that where she was taking the risks, and she lost some weight. You yeah. go, girl. <laughs> well, and she said she didn't, but. She looks trim. Yeah. So Ebony was up next, and she was bubble wrap. Uninspiring, said Mr. J. I think Mr. that was J. Mr. J's word of the week, because yeah. he said it about five times. I know. Well, she had a snarl face on. Yeah, like, she was like, hair look. Yeah. <laughs> then Chantal with the shredded paper and the crazy hair. I wasn't feeling it. I hated it. It looked like she had two devil horns in that picture. The hair was too much. It was too much. Heather was up last. Aluminum cans. Yeah. She had a front on shot. They said it was excellent. I'm not so sure. It's kind Something of weird. Something about her nose. She's like, yeah. And it makes her nose look really big. Yeah. So, the cover girl of the week was... Heather. For the millionth time. Again. Yeah. 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 Whoa. Okay, so, the top photos in order, down to the bottom two. Celicia. Jenna, Heather, yay, Bianca, Sarah, Chantal, and Lisa. So that leaves Ebony and Ambriel in the bottom Ooh. two. Yes, the uninspiring twins. Yeah. So, you know what? After deliberation, Tyra says, Ebony, you're staying. Ebony's like, I don't want to be here. Excuse me, Tyra. I, <laughs> I want to go home. And she's like, you what? What'd you say? I was surprised she didn't freak out like you that one roar! time. Yeah, but I guess she learned from that experience that you shouldn't yell. She didn't at learn. The models. Yeah, but she learned to be sarcastic. So yeah, Ebony wants to go home. So Tyra said, "Okay, you can go home because you're a quitter, and I hate so she's quitters." Like, so you can leave now. So get the f out. <laughs> well, she didn't say that, but and that's what like, she was saying with her eyes. Oh, free chance, Ambriel. Yeah, lucky you. It's your lucky day, lucky Biatch. Chance. Yeah, so you get another shot. So, Tyra's final bitch slap in the face to Ebony was her audition tape saying like, Pick me, Tyra, Tyra please, please pick, pick me. me. I want it so bad. You won't be sorry, Tyra. Pick me. I want it. <laughs> nice, Tyra. Way to be a catty bitch. Yeah, so next week, Tyra's another stab at a music video. Oh, gosh. Don't do it, Tyra. Hopefully it's not for her song this time. <sighs> It will only end in tragedy. Oh, wait, it does. It mm. takes a tragic turn. And it looked like Heather. Yep. Because you work those damn girls, Tyra, too hard. Model down! <laughs> you, got, 
You gotta give them water breaks, Tyra. Come on. This is not a switch up. It's not a model switch up. So until next week on Beyond Reality, next top model. Much, much love. love.